Hello, everyone. I'm Jia Hen. I'm a second year PhD student at Berkeley. Today, I will talk about our recent work on transparent polynomial delegation and its applications to zero knowledge proofs. It is a joint work with Tianchen, Yupeng, and Dang. First of all, as the title contains zero knowledge proofs, so what is a zero knowledge proofs? That means we have a prover and a verifier. The prover wants to convince the verifier the computation of a function f on w equals to y without leaking the information of w. Her w is a witness and only private to the prover. After seeing the proof pi and the output y, the verifier checks the proof and decides to accept or reject. And there are three important properties of zero-knowledge proofs. Completeness means the verifier would accept if the computation is correct. Soundness means the verifier will accept with negligible probability or very small probability. For example, two to the power of minus 100 if the computation is not correct. Zero knowledge means the verifier learns nothing about the witness of the prover. There are three efficiency measures for a zero knowledge proof protocol. Prover time is the time for the prover to generate the proof. Proof size is the length of the proof. And verification time is the time for verifier to check the proof. So in general, we just want faster prover time, faster verification time, and short proof size. And there are several applications of zero knowledge proofs in the real world, since it could help people to protect their privacy. For example, it can be deployed on blockchain to preserve privacy of transactions. And Zcash is a cryptocurrency with this technique. In Zcash, a transaction appears on the public blockchain. It is known to have occurred and the face was paid. But addresses and a transaction amount are all encrypted and not publicly visible. But other nodes could still validate the transaction because of the properties of zero-knowledge proofs. And actually, the zero-knowledge proof protocol used in the Zcash is called ZKSnark, which represents succinct no interactive argument of knowledge. It has some really good properties. For example, it has constant proof size and fast verification time. However, it also has short shortcomings that limit the implementation. Firstly, it needs function-dependent trusted setup, which means it needs to do pre-processing for each statement, and the pre-processing is slow. The trusted setup relies on a trusted third party and the secret key generated by the trusted third party. But in the real world, we don't know how to find such a trusted third party. And if we could, we don't need decentralized blockchain. Besides, the security will be broken if the secure key is leaked. So the trusted setup is bad. In addition, the prover time of Snark is slow. To address these problems in Snark, there are many different zero-knowledge proof protocols uh, proposed in recent years. So that is a very active research area. And these protocols are based on different cryptographic techniques. Among all of these categories, our paper Virgo lies in the line of the interactive proof. The protocols based on the interactive proof has a feature that the prover time is fast. OK, let us move to Virgo. The building block of Virgo is the doubling efficient interactive proofs proposed by Shafi Galwaso, Yo Klein, and Guy Ross Blum in 2008, which is also known as GKR protocol. In GKR protocol, the verifier delegates the computation of a circuit C to the prover. Look at the right side of the slide. The function C can be formalized as an arithmetic circuit. And here the input W is known to the verifier. Well, why is it called W efficient? Because the prover time is super fast, which is the polynomial of the circuit size C in the original GKR paper. And it is improved to linear of the circuit size in Libra. The proof size 
is d times log c, while the verification time is d times log c plus n. The circuit size c is the number of gates in the circuit. d is the depth of the circuit, while n is the input size of the circuit. In the previous section, we know GKR protocol is not zero knowledge, as the wifi knows the input w itself. But we can use a polynomial that commitment to make the GKR protocol to be zero knowledge. Polynomial commitment or delegation means the prover could convince the verifier the evaluation of a polynomial f on random point A is FA. The protocol works as follows. In the first round, the prover commits the polynomial f. Then, it receives the random point A from the verifier. Finally, the prover computes FA and sends it back to the verifier with the proof pi. The verifier can validate the statement, but it learns nothing about f except for the value of FA. Here we just use univariant polynomial f as an example, but we can extend it to multivariant polynomial easily. Next, we will show how to convert the GKR protocol to be zero knowledge proof protocol using the polynomial commitment. In the GK17, they convert the GKR protocol to an argument system. They force the prover have the input W. And before running the GKR protocol, the prover commits the polynomial FW defined by the input W to the verifier. Then both of them involve the GKR protocol. And in the last round of the GKR protocol, the verifier needs to verify FW on a random point R. He just asks the prover to open the value of FWR for him and use a commitment in the beginning to check the opening. Okay, but the GK17 is still not zero knowledge, and the polynomial commitment in their paper needs trusted setup for the polynomial commitment. In order to solve these problems in ZGK17, there are several follow-up works. For example, in Hyrax, they achieve the zero knowledge and remove the trusted setup in ZGK17. The prototype in their new polynomial commitment is all in cryptographic operations, while both the verification time and proof size are square root of it. And it is based on discrete log assumption, which is not quantum quantum secure. Besides, in Libra, they improve the prover time of the GKR part to linear of the circuit size, as I mentioned before, and achieve zero knowledge on the GK70 without overhead, which is really good. But Libra still uses the polynomial commitment of PST, which needs one time trusted setup. And the prover time is also ON exponentiation field operations. The proof size and the verification time are succinct, but it is still not postman quantum secure. So both of them are not postman quantum secure. And in our work, we focus on the polynomial delegation part of the ZK17. We build a new transparent zero-knowledge polynomial delegation scheme, and transparent means no trusted setup. The prover time in our scheme is n log n, where both the verification time and the proof size are log n squared. And our protocol is only based on symmetric key, which is very fast and cosmic quantum secure. Okay, next let us move to the specific constructions. Firstly, we can convert the polynomial evaluation to vector inner product. As you can see in the equation, it can be rewritten as a vector C times vector A. Vector C is a coefficient. Vector A is generated by the random point A. Later on, using the idea of Aurora paper, they further convert the vector inner product to a univariant subtract. As you can see in the equation, polynomial FC and FA are defined by the vector C and vector A, respectively. Then, they run univariant subtract protocol to validate the statement. In the univariant sum check protocol, in order to get the corresponding FAX defined by the vector A, 
and evaluate fax on some random point r, the verifier needs to do inverse fft and fft for fax. So in the protocol for Aurora, both the prover time and verification time are unlogged, while the proof size is log n squared. Okay, in order to make the verifier faster in Aurora, in our scheme, the verifier doesn't need to do inverse FFT and FFT on FAX. The core idea is that he delegates the computation to the prover using the GKR circuit again. As you can see on the left side, we construct the circuit to compute inverse FFT and FFT on vector A. So the circuit size is n log n, the same as the inverse FFT and FFT. While the depth is only O log n, and the input size is only 1. And the input A is generated by the verifier, so it is known to the verifier. Therefore, if we run GKR protocol for the computation of the circuit, the prover time is linear to the circuit size, which is n log n, while the verification time and proof size are only log n squared. And for multivariant case, the input size of the circuit will become log n, but it doesn't matter. The next slide shows the flow of our transparent ZKVPD protocol. In the beginning, the verifier commits the polynomial f, then it receives the random point a from the verifier, the same as the previous protocol. And finally, the prover rewrites f a as a univariant sum check of fcx times fax. Then, both parties involve the univariant sum check protocol. And during the sub protocol, when the verifier needs the information of fax, he delegates the computing of fax to the prover using the GKR circuit, as I mentioned before. The total protocol has quasi linear time, uh, prover time, which is n log n, and succinct verification time and proof size which is log n squared. And it is also posting quantum square. Next, I will show you some experimental results of our transparent ZKVPD protocol. We compare it with the ZKVPD protocol in Libra. The red line represents our scheme, while the blue line represents the protocol in Libra. The x-axis is the size of the polynomial. As you can see in figure 1, the prover time of our new ZKVPD scheme is 8 to 10 times speed up faster than the pairing based one. It only takes 12 seconds to generate the proof for a polynomial of size 2 to the power of 20. This is because our new scheme doesn't use any heavy cryptographic operations, while the scheme in Libra uses modular exponentiations on the base group of a bilinear map. The verification time of our ZK VPD scheme is also faster than that of Libra, as you can see in figure 2. But the drawback of our scheme is the proof size. As shown in the third figure, the proof size of our scheme is larger than that of Libra. And there is an important application of the transparent ZK VPD. We can apply it to the verifiable security sharing scheme. For active security, the prior work uses the polynomial commitment of KZG as the backend protocol. If we replace it with our alternative ZKVPD, when the bandwidth is not the bottleneck in the communication network, our protocol is super fast for the security sharing since we have faster prover time, faster verification time. I should mention here. There is a concurrent work of transparent ZKVPD, which is called DARK. It is based on no older group, but its prover time is slow and it is not possible quantum secure. Ultimately, if we just apply this new ZKVPD protocol to Libra, we could get a new zero knowledge proof protocol without trusted setup, and we call it Virgo. The prover time, the verification time, and the proof size are on the slides. Here, C is still the circuit size, N is still the input size, 
this due to the depth of the circuit. And the zero knowledge proof system Virgo is only based on symmetric key, which is fast and postman quantum secure. And next, we show the comparison of Virgo to other transparent zero knowledge proof systems in the real implementations. The example is to generate a proof for the circuit computing Merkle tree with 256 leaves using the Hartree function of SHA-256. As you can see in the table, the Virgo has fastest approval time and faster than all others with at least one magnitude. It only needs 53 seconds to generate the proof. In addition, the verification time of Virgo is also super fast, which is only 15 milliseconds. It is only slower than Stark and faster than all others. The proof size is also comparable. So it validates Virgo has faster approval time and faster verification time. OK, that's great. Finally, let us come to the summary. In a nutshell, in this work, we first, first propose a transparent polynomial delegation scheme with log n square, verification time, and proof size. And it is postman quantum secure. That's good. Then we apply it to Libra and get a new transparent zero knowledge proof system, Virgo, with faster approval time and faster verification time. Virgo also has good performance in the real experiments. So that's all. Thank you. If you have any question, just ask me.